Get to the chopper! Hi and welcome to Get to the Chopper. I'm Nathan Ferguson and I'm joined by a man still smiling after playing his first game for the Mendy Blackhawks, powerful prop, Jamin Moore. Hey mate, thanks for having me on. Hey, thanks for being here. Now, not your first game in the competition. Obviously, you played with the Mackay Cutters previously, but still a special occasion on Saturday. Can I ask you, were you more nervous about the game or coming on to this show? <laughs> nah, I was probably more nervous um, on the weekend, I reckon. Um, yeah, Panny let me know on Wednesday. Yeah, I was very excited. Found out it was country week in Burdekin, so the um, old man could um, come down from Cairns. Yeah, he was pretty excited for me. Yeah, Dad gave me um, my first jersey. It's the first jersey he'd given me, so yeah, it was a pretty proud moment. For me and him, but um, yeah, as soon as he gave me that, I was keen to get on the field and um, rip in. But yeah, I had to wait a bit to the second half. Panny's message uh, for me before I went on, just um, do my thing, no mistakes. So I just tried to do that. I think we scored when I was on, so it was a good thing. But um, yeah, it was good. First game back at the Host Plus Cup. Um, it was just a bit faster than local league, but hopefully a couple more games on my belt and I'll be all right. Well, I'm glad you mentioned your dad. Full disclosure, viewers, we couldn't play any sound with that vision of the jersey presentation due to some... Uh, colourful language, but Mr Moore, that was a terrific speech. Great job, Rob. Uh, speaking of terrific, there was a huge turnout in air for Townsville's country clash with Redcliffe. Before the boys hit the field, they watched a cracking women's battle between Burdekin and Herbert River, and a few courageous kids came up to them, hoping to get some autographs. I think our guys were a little taken back, but happily obliged, and by the time the main match kicked off, the grandstands were packed. And the big crowd was treated to an entertaining encounter, which ended in a draw. 22 all it finished. Sean Nona had a chance to win the game with a penalty goal from 40 metres out after the full-time siren had blown, but his attempt went just wide. The coach couldn't quite decide whether it was a point lost or a point gained against a high-flying Dolphins outfit, and it mightn't be until after the final round whether we rejoice or lament the result. I guess the positive to take out of it was one point as opposed to none. Two would have been nice, but um, the good part about it is Destiny's still in our control. We're still in eighth, um, albeit on for and against, but you know we're the ones that decide where we finish and um, you know if we're playing well, then you know we should finish where we want to and that's in playing finals footy, I think. Yeah, look, there were certainly some positives to take out of it. When we got behind on the scoreboard, um, at times this year we've panicked um, and come up with um, easy options or, or quick fixes and I thought we wanted to play the long game and had a lot of patience to get back into the game. I thought that was certainly a positive. Yeah, I thought Curley was really good. The thing to remember, he's a 19-year-old kid, first game of Cup, and I thought he was really physical. He was really strong and, and, and played really well. Um, certainly earned his spot there for next round against Cairns. You know, and obviously, Boise's a massive loss for us. Um, you know, he's one of our leaders on the field. He really leads by example. and. He'll be, um, yeah, a big loss for us. Yep, Paney touching on Boise there, suffering a season-ending knee injury in the first five minutes of the game. We're all gutted for him. I think the boys are sort of trying to get around him in the sheds after. Yeah, it's real disappointing for Boise. You know, he's our, um, he's our forward leader at the Blackhawks, and um, he was really excited for that game. I knew he wanted to get out there and um, hurt some people like he always loves doing, but, yeah, it's, um, it's not good. Very disappointing, but, yeah. Now, no Host Plus Cup action this weekend, but that hasn't stopped the team training hard. In fact, an opposed session against the Townsville Stingers last night was basically a gruelling game. Jamin, you'll be a part of that representative team aiming to claim silverware in the 4X Challenge Final, along with numerous contracted Mandy Blackhawks. How important was that hit out, given it's been more than a month since the team's semi-final triumph? Yeah, it's been good. We haven't been together in a while, so um, we're a bit rusty. Just getting our defensive principles in place and um, working on our attack. Yeah, with boys in new positions, just getting on the same page. Yeah, Coach Roy said um, yeah, we were a bit rusty as well, but we got another training session on Friday just to polish up for the um, weekend. Yeah, I like that confidence, and the side has played with swagger in all its games so far. Really dominant displays all the way through, and Coach Roy Byra believes the players have the right balance between being confident and not arrogant. Yeah, yeah, and in all games they have. You know, they've really turned it on you know, and wore their jersey with a lot of pride, you know, representing our region really well. You know, firstly through the Fold Shield for Townsville, and then you know, as we moved on to Rocky, um, you know, playing for the obviously the North Queensland region. You know, and, you know, done really well with that, and um, yeah, we are confident in it. You know, and you know, we're looking to have a really hard game, a tough game. Yeah, you know, we do have you know one addition there of uh, Assy Hunt there. He's going to jump in with us. Yeah, you know, so it brings a little bit of experience um, 
a bit of energy too. Also, you know, off the bench for us there, a little bit of help. But um, you know, it's pretty much the same side that went to Rocky. We just got to make sure that we prepare the, you know, the best that we can, so we we come out on Saturday and um, play really well for each other and for the for the Northern Region. And um, yeah, we just go from there. Obviously, you know, the Queensland Championship, you know, being the best in the state, you know, obviously is there, you know, and there's a goal for us from the start. Um, but yeah, just a little bit of exposure as well for the players that are on the fringe that are playing local league and you know, also on the fringe, you know, playing cup there with Paney. Um, you know, it gives them just a little bit more exposure, not only to the Blackhawks, you know, but all the NRL clubs you know, that are watching this comp as well. Javen, home ground advantage as well against Gold Coast. The match is at 4pm on Saturday at the Junior League grounds. Now, you mentioned training tomorrow. The guys are actually having an open session, so kids, parents, if you want to get along and check them out, and of course, get along to the game as well on Saturday. Now, local league is still on, and Western Lions will host Herbert River. Centrals take on Norths, and your boys battle Burdekin. You must have been pretty pleased to see Charters Towers bounce back to winning ways in round 13, defeating the Devils 42 points to 30 in a high-scoring showdown at Peggy Banfield Park. Yeah, it's been good for the Charters boys to bounce back. Uh, we had a couple injuries the week before against Brothers. Yeah, just give a shout out to a couple of boys who have been killing it. Young Harry McQueen and Joshy Abbott, a couple of young boys. They've um, been having a blinder season all year and um, got a tough run going into the um, end of the season, into the finals. So hopefully we can string a couple more wins together and have our full team on deck by the end of the year. And yeah, it should be good. While the Roosters and Crushers contest was much tighter with the home side securing a 16-10 victory in what was a fiery game that saw multiple players sent off, and brothers tamed the Tigers to take advantage of Herbert Rivers' slip-up, the Brethren moved to outright first on the ladder with a 32-12 victory at Jack Mansky Oval. Now, we usually end the show on local league, but we have a special treat tonight. Team Trivia returns, and actually, the boys did alright this week. Welcome back, Blackhawks fans, members and supporters. The Fez is back on your screens with this week's trivia, Teammates. Oh, that's a good, that's a good one, isn't it? It's going to be a shot in the dark here. I'm going to say the second one. Second one. Uh, probably Mia. 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 Yeah, Mia. I'll go Mia. I think Massey. One. That's in Redcliffe. Yeah, one. Uh, let's go one. Is there one I'm forgetting about? It might be two. 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 Two too many. Okay, obviously there is. <laughs> let's go two. Which is the only good thing he's done all year, um, on and off the field. Seagulls, Redcliffe. The only thing he's done since I've known him, we should just say that. Jalen couldn't get him. Just make sure that we get the part in where just belly does nothing all year. Jason Tamalolo. Big Jace. Tamalolo. Jace. Jason Tamalolo. Jason Tamalolo, I think, wasn't it? Jason Tamalolo. Tamalolo. One of the greats. Patrick Kafusi. Uh, P A T. P A T R I C K. 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 P-A-T-R-I-C-K. Um, I need to write it down. Can I borrow you a piece of paper? Uh, R-I-C-K. F-E-L-I-S-E. Cole Fusi. G-E-B-B-I-E. <laughs> K-A-U-F-U-S-I. 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 K-A-U... F U S I K A U F U S I K A F U S I <laughs> No 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 no, no. <laughs> K A U F U S I Ten. Ten. Fourteen. Fourteen. I seen that actually on the looked looked that up yesterday. I'll take that one. That's beautiful. <laughs> he scored like 12. Yeah. I'll go 12. I think he scored 12. Oh, is it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was going to say 14. 
Is that, are you sure? I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I'm telling you, it's 14. Yep, never mind, 12. <laughs> Oh, that was easy. I was there. Well, I played that. Ipswich. East. Rockhampton. We definitely got a jersey presentation in Rockhampton, but I think that might have been in relation to Zach Lowe, but no, I'm going to say Rockhampton. No, no, it was Capra's, because his brother played in the same game. Oh! Capra's. Yeah! Capra's. 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 Hope I beat a few players. <laughs> Jamin, you will get 100% in that, right? Yeah, easy. These quizzes are too easy for me. I'm not sure his dad agrees. He wasn't too glowing of his education in the change rooms there in air. Uh, anyway, mate, thanks for coming on. Good luck on Saturday and good luck for the rest of the season. Hopefully we see you playing for the Mandy Blackhawks again. Remember, guys, you can stay up to date with all your Mandy Blackhawks information by jumping on the club website and our social media platforms. See you next time.